was a beautiful evening, crystal clear and crisp, millions of stars shining, a very special night. Mary sat there gazing out her window, thinking of her beloved Joseph. They were soon to be married, and she was so excited and a little scared. Suddenly, she felt another presence in the room and turned and looked and saw the angel Gabriel standing there. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. You are favored among women. This frightened and confused Mary, the things he said, what, what could this mean? And Gabriel said, do not be afraid, Mary, for God loves you. You have found grace and absolute favor with him. Now listen to me. You are going to become pregnant and will give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. Joseph came home with a lot of concern about their trip going to Bethlehem. He said to Mary, The journey is more than 100 miles. I'm worried for you and the baby. Don't worry, Mary said. We will be fine. God watches over us. With Mary riding on a donkey, she and Joseph began their trip. As they traveled, they saw many other people making the same journey, and the roads were crowded with travelers. When they arrived in Bethlehem, all the inns were full. Please, Joseph said, don't you have anywhere for us? Then the innkeeper saw Mary. Uh, the inn is full, but you could stay in the stable if you don't mind the animals at least you would have shelter that would be fine joseph said just fine thank you
On this evening, everything was quiet. Most of the men were already sleeping. Suddenly, the sky was filled with light as an angel appeared. The light was so bright, it woke the sleeping shepherds. They were very scared as they had never seen anything like this. Then they heard the soothing voice of the angel. Do not be afraid. I bring you and everyone the most joyful news ever announced. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem. You will find him wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Then, as the shepherds watched in amazement, the night sky blazed as the angel was joined by a multitude of other angels, all saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. The shepherds fell to their knees in awe as they quietly began worshiping him. Then they told Joseph and Mary what the angel had said and how many angels had visited them, all praising God. And that morning, the shepherds went through the town spreading this good news to everyone they met and all those that heard were astonished.
Just like the angels long ago praised and worshiped God, we too do the same today. And whenever we celebrate the Lord's birth, we are blessed twofold, especially during this Christmas season. When we read stories about him in the word, when we sing Christmas songs, and when we prepare and celebrate for Christmas through holding concerts like this, the angels and I know Jesus and God up there are also filled with joy. So in, our, in this finale, we ask you to also experience and feel with us Christmas the way the angels did a long time ago. And finally, in Luke 2, verse 14, in the same way that the angels praise God, we too can praise God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Amen. That was wonderful. If you've been blessed, let me hear you say amen. amen. Let's give them a round of applause one more time. You need to give a good hand clap for Jesus too for being born and bringing us joy and salvation. 
Can you imagine this world without Christmas? Can you imagine this world without Jesus being born? Not only will it be a chaotic world, it'll be a sad world. And we've heard these beautiful Christmas carols, songs of victory and triumph and joy. What a wonderful. Thank you, guys. That was wonderful. Really appreciate We want to thank the Anklang singers for participating and all the effort and time that they have put into this program. Let's acknowledge them. Give them a wonderful round of applause. They all are looking beautiful tonight, amen? amen? That's wonderful. We have all different ages, even from the young people. That's great. We also want to acknowledge our leader, uh, Hope Moraldi. Thank you, Hope. Let's give Hope a good hand. Thank you for putting the time and arranging the anklang and getting everybody together. That's wonderful. Let's give a, a hand for our two musicians out there. Uh, zero and pin thank you guys thank you so much pin and zero for sharing your time as well lots of time goes into this and all our wonderful participants tonight what a wonderful musical christmas feast let's give them a wonderful round of applause i want to hear all those songs again to bless my heart oh that was so uplifting thank you and thank you for coming Thank you for coming and participating with us. And we'd like to honor you with some nice refreshments after the program. God bless all of you. And one more thing, I'm so excited to see all our college students here. All our young people. Give them a hand, guys. Let's give all our young people a hand. We, we started with this musical feast from this morning, from, uh, from uh, 10, 10 a.m. this morning. And they just blessed us with a nice skit and some beautiful music. The children gave us another wonderful Christmas feast. This was a blessed day. Wow, I'm so thankful. God bless you all. And hopefully if we're still alive, if Jesus didn't, hasn't come yet, we see you next year this time. And God bless you all. Let's all stand up for our closing prayer. Please. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, O oh Father, for the gift of your love, Jesus, the light of the world. Father, every year we look forward to this feast of our salvation. And that's the reason why, Father, we all gather here together for this celebration to commemorate the birth of Jesus. Father, I pray that you grant your blessings, continuous blessings, O oh Father, to those who have performed this evening, those who have shared their talents, those or the music ministry leaders, O oh Father, and every single member of this church family, from the little ones to adults and our pastor who have given the support in any capacity to make this event a success. In a special way, oh Father, I, we thank you so much for sending your son Jesus as a baby many, many years ago. Father, because you love us so much, he paid the punishment for our sins. He died on the cross, O oh Father, and he rose again, O oh Father, to prove that death is truly defeated. Father, help us to place our trust in you to be our Savior. At this moment, O oh Father, I thank you for the food that you have provided for us. I pray that you bless it for our proper body nourishment and also bless those who have prepared it, O oh Father, and bless those who are less fortunate, O oh Father. Give them, all, oh Lord, their courage, the strength, the joy, the peace, O oh Father. They are struggling, O oh Father, so they may feel the joy of Christmas. This all we ask, O oh Father, and as we fellowship together, I pray pray that you show us the peace, the love, and joy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Thank you, folk. You may be seated. You may be seated.